So what's up everyone, my name is Martin Wong and today we are looking at the cheapest Nikon mirrorless camera, the Nikon Z30. A camera that was released less than a year ago, back in August 5th, 2022. It is very similar to the two other Nikon camera, the Nikon Z50 and the Nikon ZFC with some minor differences. First of all, both of these cameras actually share the same 21 megapixel sensor but the biggest difference is that the Z30 and the two other camera is that it lack a viewfinder. While many might find that as a drawback, I actually see that as an advantage. It is smaller, so it is easier to carry, and you can even use that as a webcam and take up less space. The 3-inch flip screen also make it a perfect vlogging camera, because you can see yourself while you record. And today, I have the Nikon Z30, and also, I got this guy. This. This is the Creator Accessory Kit. It has a dual purpose shooting grip and tripod with a detachable Bluetooth remote and a microphone to get a better high quality audio. All right, let's take it out and see what we got here. We're going to do a quick unboxing today because I need to go to VidCon right after this. Uh, it's my first VidCon, so I'm pretty excited. But anyway, let's open this up. So you got a box, you got the, uh, your little serial number, your manual, put that aside. You got a USB cable. And then you got the camera body. The, this is the 16 to 35 or 16 to 50 F 3.5 to 5.6, I presume, let's. You got a camera strap. We got the battery. All right, let's take a look. Next up, we have the accessory kit. All right, so let's see what we got here. You got this handheld tripod grip kind of thing that is made by Small Rig. You have the Nikon ML L7, which is a remote control, the Bluetooth remote control, which fits perfectly into this tripod grip so you can hold the camera while you know you're doing recording uh, with one hand so that's really convenient now there's also a rope video micro which is a video micro um uh, mic video micro mic uh, it can capture high quality audio and the best part is that it doesn't require power or battery so you can just plug it in into the audio jack for the camera and it will automatically start recording. Meow. All right, there you have it. This is the Nikon Z30. You know what? Let's go try it out. Let's do some vlogging today uh, at VidCon with this. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's drive. All right, let's get to VidCon. Got my badge ready to check out the event. Let's go. focus actually pretty good on this you know like you can see my eye focusing on it there's a little yellow box yeah that works It is with the roll mic. I'm with a lot of people, a giant crowd. There's music playing in the area. So I don't know if it's gonna sound good, but we'll find out once I get back to my footage when I get home. Let me get a little, let me get a little selfie video. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. 
What's going on? We out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, no, I thought it was a selfie video, not record, but it's recording though. Yeah, I just pressed it. So, what? It's it's you said selfie. Uh, let me get a little, let me get a little selfie video. Selfie video. It's a video. It's a video. <laughs> wow, look at us. Handsome, handsome. Look at us. Yeah. Actually, what do I do? Do I just do a self video? Oh, look at this bisexual color. Come on, buddy. You got this. It's a great camera because um, I'm holding it and Martin is it. I got it. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button. Sneaker, one of my favorite chocolate. <laughs> Look, it's M&M, it's Martin and Martin. It's double the M's. <laughs> The widest I can get. It is the widest I can get. Like, oh my god. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's get into some bangers! I feel like a kid. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of scripture I'm gonna get. Do you grab one? Thank you! Alright, that's it. This is my first recon. I had lots of fun. I get to see a lot of things, get to meet some new people check out all the stuff inside the Anaheim Convention Center and vlogging with this, ah, oh, Nikon Z30, so easy, super light. It's gonna be my go-to vlog camera from now on. All right, see you next time. Alrighty, and we are back from VidCon. That was actually a lot of fun. I don't really do a lot of vlogging on a mirrorless camera before, mostly on my phone, but I feel like having a mirrorless camera kind of a game changer, especially when a mirrorless camera has a much better quality than a smartphone. I also free up the phone itself so I can use it to you know, text people or use a map or do whatever I need with the phone without having that being held up. Uh, the great thing about the Z30, even though it is an intro camera, it does shoot at 4K 30 FPS. It also shoot at 1080p at 120 frames per second. So I did a fun jumping shot with it while you know I was at VidCon as well. Another thing that differs between a mirrorless camera and a smartphone is that you can set your aperture. So I can actually get real blur background if I wanted to, not an artificial blur or like a portrait mode you see on a smartphone. And speaking of which, like you can also use different lenses to use different aperture. So if you want to use a 15 millimeter f1.2, you can, or you can do this. So this is the Nikon 7200 uh, VF mount with the FTZ on it. So as you can see, it's kind of hilarious. You know, this camera body is like this small. And then you have uh, the lens being like huge over here. Uh, and it still worked perfectly. That's a great part. Like you can still use this and it will work just fine. 
Uh, it's just kind of funny looking. Aside from being a video camera, it is also a great photo camera overall. Like it can take 11 frames per second. So that's pretty fast. Uh, I tried it out earlier too and it works out pretty well. What makes this a great vlogging camera is of course, you know, the flip out screen. Uh, it can also shoot in vertical mode. I've tried it with the accessory kits. And with the accessory kits, I also put the mic on it. So I think getting pretty good sound quality. Take a listen. All right, so now I'm using my iPhone for comparison. As you can see, the background is all sharp and clear, but it's not really interesting. And also the audio might not be the best as well either. Well, with this is now using the Nikon Z30. As you can see, the blur is a bit more natural. And also, I think I would sound a bit better, even next to a giant like fan that's over here with this blow up machine, but yeah. The camera itself with the battery is only 405 gram, so it's not that heavy, so I can walk around with it all day long. Speaking of all day, the Nikon Z30, I wouldn't call it an all day camera. I mean, no, that's not any camera out there is really an all day camera, especially depends on how often it shoots, how much it shoots, what quality, 4K, 1080, that kind of stuff. However, the Nikon Z30 has a USB C port, and I've tried this out. You can actually charge it with a portable battery. Uh, with using the C port right here and charge a battery internally. So even if you're out of battery and you didn't bring extra batteries, you can actually just use that and you know recharge your camera and keep on shooting. Now, is the Nikon Z30 the perfect intro camera? Of course not. There's no such thing as a perfect camera. I mean, but it is pretty darn close. The great thing is that this is a pretty like low cost camera. Uh, between $600 to $900 depends out if you're getting it with the lens or you're not getting it with the uh, you know accessory kits, all kind of stuff. But it is pretty good. Like there are two things that I don't like about it, but and that could be easily improved in the next version. Or you know at this price point, it kind of makes sense. The first one being is that it has no in-body camera. Uh, in-body image stabilization like inside the camera which makes sense, you know, for an intro camera, but it can use the VR uh, vibration reduction, which is like cause version of Im image stabilization uh, to make you know, your shot more steady. So if you saw my shots from Bitcoin, they're actually pretty good. The intro lens that come with it, the kit lens, the 1650 3.5 6.3, this lens, it actually has vibration reductions. So you have to pretty much cover on that point. The second thing I don't like is the record button, which is kind of funny because it's not here, I'll show you. Normally on most cameras I know, it's like this guy, right? You have the record button on the left side, the ISO button, and then the, uh, the exposure compensation right here. See, this is the Z50 that has that. That is the uh, Z6, same thing, you know, left side is the record button, middle button here is the ISO, and the right button is the exposure compensation. Um, you know, left, middle, right, like that. However, on the Z30, now the left button is now the ISO instead of the record button, which is down here, down here. And the right button is the exposure compensation now. So meaning the ISO and the record button kind of switch. So there was a few times where I tried to click record while I'm just like in the moment, and I realized I wasn't shooting until later I click record again to think I'm stopping the recording, it actually start recording. I'm like, oh shoot, I did not press the record button correctly. So this won't be a problem for someone who never used an icon before because you just, you know, you're just accustomed to like, oh, big red button, shoot video. But for me, because I'm so used to the shutter, like the record button right into shutter to the little bit to the left, like here. So that threw me off just a little bit. You know, that's more of a preference and kind of something I custom to not because it's a big major flaw, but I don't know, maybe Nikon can allow me to switch it in the settings or even just actually physically switch it. So the red button is next to the shutter, which I feel like it made more sense. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment to tell me if this is the camera for you. I'm also gonna leave a bunch of link in the description. So in case you wanna check out more of the camera. Also, big shout out to Danielle DiNicola for helping me out running around with a giant gimbal, getting lots of BTS. Could not do this without her. Thank you so much for watching again. I could not do this without you and I will see you in the next one.